Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards back with another video. I got some mail and I went to Walmart and found just a small token of their appreciation and I decided to uh, commandeer one of the uh, baseball card box holders that Walmart has. So let me set these aside for a minute and pull this monster piece of goodness over here on the camera and back out a little bit. And this was sitting uh, in my new honey hole. It's the Topps uh, Baseball 2019 Series 2. And since uh, last year when it came out, I have been hoarding and purchasing. Uh, I purchased uh, th these Series 2 boxes, and I thought how cool it would be to put these in uh, the box that they came in to display them instead of having them over there on the shelf like I did. So I've got uh, four hanger boxes, and I got... Uh, five of the uh, blasters and two more over here. I mean, that to me is pretty awesome. And then I don't got any of the packs. So I put some of these uh, packs that I had in there. And then just to fill it out, I put a couple uh, hanger boxes that I have. And the, uh, the new blaster I got. And I thought, wow... Why not? Why not? So I uh, I paid for my blaster and had had the box in my cart. I mean, I don't know that they're ever going to use that particular uh, holder anymore. I mean, uh, there was nothing else. So I was just happy to get what I could. But uh, since I have quite a few of these, I thought, what the heck? That's that's pretty cool. So I commandeered that. All right, set that aside. Still pretty neat. So uh, quite a few weeks ago, uh, a couple. I got a tops tops now. Uh, I kind of like these. These are neat. So I got a couple cup tops now cards I want to share with you. Uh, if you go on tops.com and you create an account, uh, you have the ability to purchase a product that comes out. I mean, you gotta. It's just like uh, it's just like Walmart. You better be there right when it comes out because it's gonna sell out quick. And it also has a uh, daily activity on there. Uh, as most of us know, it also has uh, the Tops 2020. And I think that's where most of us have gotten familiar with, with uh, the Tops website. Uh, but the Tops now, uh, for me, I like it because it, uh, it has uh, some of the ML... MLB debuts as uh, rookie cards and as debuts. So let me sleeve this one up before I show it to you. This is uh, Jesus Lazardo. Not focusing here. Jesus Lazardo uh, rookie card. And it says down at the bottom... Fires five stellar frames in first MLB start. So, there's a lot in the background. So, let me see if I can. <laughs> Golly. It's Monday. It's Monday. So, yeah. Anyway, this is his uh, debut. So, I wanted to get that. Me being a. Uh, First place A's fan. Thank you very much. 
And I also been collecting this guy. This is uh, Joe Adele. Well, we can't do nothing if it won't focus. All right, so let's jump back into this. Okay, well, that's better. All right, so let me show you that card over again. Jesus Lazardo rookie card for the A's. Uh, this is a Tops Now card. It has a number for the year, and it has the uh, Tops uh, holographic Tops to verify that it is authentic. So if you ever buy a Tops card, make sure, if you can, that they have the holographic top symbols on there, which are really cool. Uh, yep. So that has a little description of what's going on. It uh, has this pitching outing. And then my other one was the, uh, was the Joe Adele, which uh, didn't end like he wanted it to. I think it was actually a couple games later or one game later that uh, the ball uh, bounced out of his glove, bounced over the wall, and uh, uh, created a four-base air four base air home run. So that's Joe Adele. First hit comes in first major league at bat, which is cool. And again, there's the holographic, and it talks about uh, Joe Adele's uh, hit. So those are my recent uh, Tops Now pickups. I think this is the first two that I've gotten. I don't know. And uh, then the last two last year was when Cody Bellinger won the uh, MVP. So those are my new Tops Now collection. Some like, some don't. I can't say that there's an incredible amount of value. It's more like documenting or or seeing, you know, like a guy in your PC that you PC and then you uh, then you buy it and it means something to you. And both those mean something to me. So come in a little neat little pops now container. I. Uh, my last 2020 is on its way to me too, so soon we'll be uh, talking about that one. And then a couple weeks ago, uh, we uh, we saw uh, me open a cello pack that didn't have any labels or anything on it. And this was the cello pack. Do you recall the Mark McGuire cello pack that we opened? And so uh, I bought another one that had the box. And there's the Rookies, 87 Puzzle. And this is the Roberto Clemente Puzzle card, which is really cool, I thought. So it comes with that. And then it comes with the uh, 14. So... If you don't know, or if you didn't see it, I will put a link to the opening of this pack down in the description. But this is a trivia question. Who knows who that is? So down in the comments, tell me who that is. By name. All right. And this is the Mark McGuire rookies. And uh, there's quite a few decent rookies in here. So... If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description and you can watch me open that pack. But this one I bought to keep sealed. Uh, I thought it was cool and it was a really nice box for being 1987. So uh, I just decided to uh, keep it keep it sealed. But I did buy an 89. And this one inadvertently opened on the bottom or not inadvertently and then when I opened it I found that the uh, cello the cello had been opened so it comes with uh, all these cards so if I would look through them 
So this is the Warren Spawn that comes with the 89 Don Ross, and that's what the entire puzzle looks like. So if you get the 89 Don Ross series uh, wax box uh, and you open a bunch of packs, you'll be able to uh, build that puzzle, just like the Roberto Clemente for the 87. The 87 is Roberto Clemente. So if you've never seen these before, these are the rookies and uh, fairly reasonable price I think I paid uh, uh, about 15 plus shipping about $20 for each of them so let's see what we get in there obviously the first one is Gary Sheffield and there's a card that uh, a lot of guys spent money on back in the day Greg Jeffries was a big, uh, big rookie back then. Here's a pretty cool one. There's the Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. I, I think this is one of my favorite. I was trying to figure out his necklace and, and uh, you know, look at his necklace now and look what they're wearing around their neck nowadays. Can you not tell that they're making a ton more money now than they were in 1989? Look at the little... And this, this guy is the star of that era. And he's wearing a little bitty chain. Them guys nowadays are wearing three-quarter inch rope around their neck. Like two or three of them. I don't know what that's about. But they like them to bounce around when they're hitting home runs and all that. So anyway... Uh, if you haven't seen the back of these, a really cool green. So, George Kenneth Griffey Jr., card number three. Uh, not bad centered. It does got uh, like a like a little uh, ink, uh, ink spot there, which ain't good. That corner's rounded a little bit. But uh, in overall, it, it's a it's a cool cool card and then we'll go through some of these guys that uh, nobody does know and we'll stick with the ones they do so cool set Tom Gordon Billy Spears Spires there's Neon Dion which is uh, a nicely centered card played for the New York Yankees at least in this picture, I don't think he, I don't know if he went on to play with the Yankees or not, but Don Paul, Steve Carter, Francisco Oliveras, Steve Wilson, Bob Guerin, Tony Castillo, there's another star, Kenny Rogers, he went on to be a pretty good pitcher. Carlos Martinez, there's uh, the finger wagger, Edgar Martinez, Edgar Martinez, or is it Rafael Palmero? Excuse me, that's Rafael Palmero. Edgar Martinez went on to be in the Hall of Fame. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's Jim Abbott. He's a sought-after rookie of that year as well. Tori Lovelo, Mark Caron, Carion, Geronimo Barora, Luis Medina, there's Sandy Alomar Jr., Bob Malaki, there's Joe Girardi, Coach Girardi, now, playing for the Cubs, just rookie card, that's cool, German Gonzalez, Craig Worthington, Jerome Walton, Gary Wayne, Tim Jones, there's uh, Bo Bichette's daddy, Dante Bichette, no home runs, so we hit 10, 12, steals, not a base stealer, a lot of strikeouts. 
Not a real high average. Not a bad ball player, though. Underrated. Alex Infante. Ken Hill. Dwight Smith. Luis De Los Santos. Eric Yielding. Greg Olson. Phil Stephenson. Ken Patterson. Rick Rona. Mike Brumley. Chris Carpenter, Jeff Brantley, Ron Jones, there's the big unit, dang, look how slender he was, he was a tall drink of water, so let's look at that one for a minute, Randy Johnson, look at that, ERA, So, he was a nice card, more in the center of the deck, so the corners aren't rounded as much, but because this set's wrapped in that solophane, it, uh, it is very, uh, it is very condition sensitive. Now there's a Kevin Brown, Ramon Martinez, Greg Harris. There's a Steve Finley, Randy Kramer, Eric Hansen, Matt Merrilou, Mike, Mike, <laughs> Clay Parker. This is the hardest part of our job, is pronounce a thousand names a week, you know? Give us a break, guys. Omar Vizquel, Derek Lindquist. And Junior Felix. And a checklist. That's unchecked. So, that's good. What do you think of that? That's a pretty cool set. Now the Griffey's all the way back here. In the... So that's why I got it. I wanted to see, you know, what that would be like. I thought that was a pretty cool card looking at it. So... Pretty cool card. But he's got a million of them out there. A million. And now they're all getting graded. Which is good. And uh, I think a lot of them are going to other places besides PSA. But if you can find a PSA 10, you're, you're doing something. All right, so that's what we got today. So I appreciate your time. Give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you uh, have a Facebook account so everybody can see what it's like to open up old baseball cards and be a part of a community that really sticks together. So I thank you for everybody for your support. Uh, pray for the great state of Texas, and that's where I'm from, and the hurricane's heading our way. Uh, I went through Harvey, and Harvey dropped 52 inches of rain in my house, and we had no flooding or no damage, so I was very blessed by that. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, obviously, our family will just hang out and wait for it to happen and wait for it to get over and wait for the streets to clear up so that we can get back to doing what we're doing. But uh, there's a lot of people that live in places that will flood and... That will uh, that will lose a lot of property, so let's just pray for them. That uh, that uh, everybody will be okay. So if I get a chance, I'm gonna shoot some uh, shoot some uh, video of it. See what it's like. See if it, if we get any wind. If we might get a lot of rain. It's supposed to come late Wednesday night into Thursday morning, so I would kind of keep an eye on when that's going to happen. Obviously, uh, I ain't got much to do, so it's expected to come tomorrow night into Thursday, so but no worries here. Charlie Card, as long as there's power in my house, we'll be up and running. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, community. 
Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. Charlie's Cards, over and out.